Now continue with uh, the last video. Last video I told you I want to use another video to show you uh, about subroutines. So here actually uh, just now I already show you this uh, program. Let me uncomment and uh, here you can see uh, we want to print something for A, print something for um, B array, print something for C array, and print something for the uh, for the result, right? And uh, each time uh, we want to use, uh, yeah, actually it's kind of uh, repeat. We just repeat this one, this one, this one. So since we repeat, can we? make it uh, like a subroutine and uh, when we want to print this line can we just call the function yes we can do it so this is the idea about uh, uh, subroutine okay here actually I take out uh, this part you see uh, take out this part answer one and then continue or not continue if continue and uh, if not continue and then stop yeah I take out this part and put into as a separate subroutine you see how to start with a subroutine we need to uh, specify that uh, prompt prompt is a subroutine so we use subroutine right before if it's a main program we use a program and end with end program and for subroutine start with uh, subroutine and uh, end subroutine and also give the name for the subroutine uh, if we do not want to put any arguments just uh, put it empty inside the uh, parentheses okay yeah basically the rest part all the same and uh, let's build it if uh, see if it works yeah, it's complete and no error. Start to run and uh, see if uh, we have the same thing like before. So you see A array is printed and uh, B array and then yes and uh, C array and yes to print the multiplication of A, B and uh, C. So yeah, this is uh, I want to show you about uh, the idea of a subroutine and how to do it uh, in Fortran. And remember, you see, root subroutine gives a name prompt and then match <laughs> subroutine and subroutine, right? Into pair with each other, start subroutine and end subroutine. Okay. Just now I show you one example without uh, you see for this one prompt has uh, no arguments but uh, here I want to show you one subroutine has uh, some arguments you see we want to have some arguments we want to call uh, the function call the subroutine that can um, calculate the volume the volume actually for two three spheres spheres so and uh, anything else yes yes so here is the subroutine to calculate the volume uh, you see we put the argument inside the parentheses and um, in this subroutine you see we uh, declare some um, variables actually red and volume and pi uh, yeah, actually these variables are only defined inside this uh, subroutine so if we want to uh, I mean pass some value we need to use this one and this one and in this function volume function we use read uh, to uh, actually get some uh, you see get some value from the um, from the main function and uh, from the main program actually you see read one 
we can get the uh, input from the keyboard read and then also get the input for read 2 read 1, read 2 the value can be passed to the subroutine and also if uh, after calculation after calculation we get some uh, uh, return value for vol you see for vol uh, come to here and also accordingly go to here for the first one and to go to here for the second one uh, yeah and here yeah actually something about the uh, how to declare uh, pi right but uh, you know that in Fortran we do not have a, a built-in value for pi so we need to make a definition like this why we do this way actually this is a idea the basic idea yeah if you are interested you can go to this website to check this part actually uh, the basic idea is like this um, okay so this is the formula to calculate the volume for a sphere right um, yeah, basically the same if we call the function for first one the second one and then can get output on the screen we want to find the difference so we use absolute value the difference and also 10 actually this is a format label um, yeah so format label that means we want to get output by following format 10 right and uh, also uh, if you want to yes or no uh, yeah let's see if uh, uh, any more or not if we want to do any more and then uh, we need to go back uh, to the do while actually I should uh, make this one indent you see it's easier to check right it's easier to check that this part is inside the uh, do loop and then if we do not want to continue uh, it will do a loop you see response if not equal to capital Y uh, not equal to uh, yeah, lowercase y uh, and then stop and then stop either one if capital Y or lowercase one it will continue yeah and also you see we put dot and dot this is how to do logic and and um, likewise if you want to do uh, logic or we can put dot or dot so yeah actually I want to use uh, this example to show you how to make subroutine you see this example to show you how to make subroutine but without uh, arguments this one has arguments and then uh, explain how to pass the value uh, from the main function main program to the subroutine and then in the subroutine do something and get uh, uh, return value and then go back you see yeah go back and also call for next one also something new right I did not explain before your logic and okay that's all thank you